everyone, Eugene Kate Sith here, and today I will be breaking down gear swap commands. I use gear swap commands on everything from uh, creating skill chains on Scholar and magic bursting them, um, to pre buffing on White Mage and Scholar and Bard, uh, and I also use them to warp using the home point add on using one simple command. Um, it probably sounds and looks uh, confusing, but it's actually really easy. Um, and I'm pretty sure almost anyone can figure this out. Uh, to start things off, I'll be showing you guys how uh, how the Scholar skill chain works. First off, I'll be showing you the gear swap and what the command looks like. So as you can see, it's basically just a gear swap command, a normal gear swap command uh, with a little bit of a, a script inside. Um, I have two for Blizzard skill chain. One is to uh, use Helix, and the other is to nuke uh, Blizzard five at the end. Uh, don't worry, I will be adding all of this, uh, all of my commands to a GitHub, so you can copy paste um, later, and it should be compatible with any gear swap. Okay, so let's show you guys. How this works with send. You will also need the add-on called send. Very critical to have send if you're if you're multi-boxing. So let's see. This is the line you need to execute your command using send. And we'll do the B1. So that sent the command to Irritant. made the skill chain. I guess I have effects off, but it made the skill chain and it MB'd. Now that we've covered the scholar skill chain, let's go over uh, the nukers for the magic burst. As long as the command is the same name on the nukers as it is for the scholar command and you use send at all, it will execute the same um, magic verse that you want. So the same the same command that you sent to Helix and make the skill chain on Scholar will now on the Geo wait for the skill chain to finish then nuke Blizzard 5 and Blizzard 4. And you can do this as on as many characters as you want as long as it has the same name command. So here's the second Geo and then you can also do it on Black Mage, right here. The example I'll be showing you guys is a uh, Scholar and two Geos. So let's get this started. So you want to send at all. Gear swap command B1. That easy. This will start the skill chain on Scholar. And now both Geos will nuke it. The Scholar finishes the Helix. Both Geos finish up the Magic Burst. And it's that easy. Nothing too complicated. Moving on to pre-buff, this is probably what will save you the most time uh, if you're multi-boxing. Um, it can really be time consuming and focus consuming to pre-buff on both a white mage and a bard. So this this is going to be a lifesaver for a lot of people. Um, basically using the same concepts of, of, of the skill chain, but we're just doing it for buffs. Um, and as long as you get the timing right, but the wait timing right between casting for your own mage, you can do as much as you want. And then this is the example of Bard. And and once again, don't worry, I'll have this all in my paste bin, or not paste bin, uh, GitHub. And let's show you guys this in action. So basically, same as before. Send at all, gear swap C, 
omen. Now, since White Mage and um, Bard are buffing themselves with the command, I tend to um, manually buff Core so I can ensure I get the best rolls possible. But you could definitely make commands to roll um, for yourself on, on Core. Oh, I didn't get Snake Eye Reset. Whatever. Just ignore that. <laughs> but as you can see, Bard did all of its stuff. All mages are balloted. The DDs have their songs. The boost is up. Off Spice is up. Every Everything you probably wouldn't want to do and waste time on, you can do now once you put in a command. Now here's an example of my engage commands. I just target the NPC in front of me, wait one second, and then attack battle target, and then I use hassle and meditate. So that's just my standard engage. I mainly use this on Neek or anything um, basically Escher related. And that's the exact same for core. He just engages and attacks, and then Geo, this starts the Geo to do Indie Fury, and then Blaze of Glory, EA, Geo, Frailty. So it's pretty simple. And then here is it in action. I'll pop a pat, uh, Bash Moon right here. You should, I also recommend getting a... Uh, the auto weapon skill add-on if you if you uh, multi-box because it's impossible alt tab and weapon skill at the same time. Oh, also my bard has the same engage macro or command, obviously. So just basically just press my macro that has the engage command on it on all the characters, and then it just starts up. And pretty easy. You can also use uh, Gearsoft commands in combination with uh, other add-ons using the send command. Um, sometimes when you use the home, uh, the add-ons home point and temps uh, on multiple characters at the same time, it will freeze up. So the key to preventing that is just putting a slight delay in between each of the of the the times the your, the character buys the item, so using that, I can show you here. Just do send. Oh, okay, so first I'll show you. Don't have radio lens already. Okay, so no radio lens. Send at all gear swap command red. So it'll take a little bit for it to buy it. Buy it on every character. Buy it all again. Now I have five radio lens. And the add-on didn't freeze up at all. Now the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how um, how well gear swap commands works with the home point add-on. Um, similar to the temps add-on, if you use um, if you try to warp on all characters simultaneously using send all, it will freeze up the add-on. So like before with the temp add-ons, the key is to put a slight delay so the only downside to doing it this way is that you will have to create 
a individual warp for each place you want to go, which really isn't too bad. Um, basically, just do places you go to most often. And then as you find new places you want to add, just keep adding them. Um, the command name doesn't matter. You can use anything you want. You can just use numbers as long as you can remember them. So let's let's show you guys an example now. This is this is basically all I put in so far. All the way up to here. And as you can see there's a weight in between each character. There's no weight for Eugen, and then the weight builds per character. So like before, send at all gear swap command w1. That's winter swalls one. And just like that, all the characters warped. Didn't have to interact with the menu at all on any of the characters. Didn't have to alt tab at all. Adel 1. So this is Western Adeline 1. And then for the last place we'll go is Leaf City. The best area in the game. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Um, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, I've started to stream on Twitch. Um, thank you to everyone who has supported me so far. I'm already almost over 200 followers, and I haven't even been streaming for a week. Um, thank you so much. Um, we're almost at 800 subscribers on YouTube, too. Um, I appreciate all the support for YouTube also. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Let's really push for that 1K. I mean, YouTube has, has this 1K milestone. So once I hit that, I'll be extremely happy. Um, but yes, th thank you. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it. As always, please comment below. Um, give me suggestions for uh, future videos for this video series. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks again. Take care, everyone.